Hello everyone. Tater Tots or Wooknock Main here, and I'm gonna give us a run through of the digital edition of Unmatched. It came out yesterday um, in its beta um, testing version. Uh, this is currently version 0 0.5.0.3. We're gonna go through, I'm just gonna show you a few things, a few things I like and dislike about it, and just overall so you can find your way around here. You have this loading screen with all the characters that are available right now, and there are four, well, that will be available at launch. So Little Red and Beowulf are on here, but we don't have them quite yet. If you look over here on the right, you'll have, and click on that icon with the eye, it gives you the credits. Um, and then you have settings, obviously, you can get rid of the music if it's too loud or annoying or whatever. And then the sound effects also, you can get rid of those if you're not interested in that. They have a colorblind mode, but I didn't see a difference. But then again, I'm not colorblind, so I don't know uh, what the difference. You have your resolution edit here. Combat speed, I crank mine up pretty far. Um, map border scrolling. Skip opponents, turn animations, obviously. Then you don't have to sit through all that, and so on. Languages. So that's settings. And then we have questions uh, or rules questions and so you just go here to read up on the rules yourself and then we have um, statistics and achievements so statistics are, um, so you can see here I've, I haven't played Simbad I technically did but the game took long and so we can get the future game but we also have Medusa can run through analysis and it shows what okay, I've played in one game with her and my win rate's 100%. King Arthur, I played two games and it's 100%. And Medusa won 100%. And uh, so that'll change, I am sure. And then you have these achievements. I've never, in most games, I've never been really into achievements. But here's just things that happen. First Blood, The Duelist, Plan C. They're, they're each just something you can try to achieve in the battle to unlock these little um, icons of things. Okay, over here you can see it says continue local game. That's an option because I have a local game going. I can continue that, or I can start up a new one, a local new battle or tutorial. And then I also have an online game, maintenance break currently. They've been doing that because this is beta and fixing things as I go, which we obviously want and appreciate. Pardon that, that's my uh, phone making um, the Star Wars. Slave one bomb thing, whatever that's called. Okay, anyway, sorry. Lobby and account settings. So you can go to a lobby and then uh, make your. I wonder if I can even go in there right now. No, nope. but I, I would have showed, shown you that, but I can't. So that's the lobby, and then uh, account settings. You can um, change like. Okay, so it's not letting me do that either. But you can change. Uh, like your username and stuff like that so that it'll be much easier for you to um, It'll be easy for you to get in there and do it. It's simple and you set up uh, Set up your email and all that uh, whenever you want um, And then of course exit and then right down here see other games um, That is uh, All the other games that Akron does they Concordia, I know. I don't know any others than that. Um, my collection. So this feature is not yet implemented, um, but I can imagine it's just as new sets come out that you'll have to purchase, and new maps, and new characters that you'll be able to just pick that character, and they'll be in there. And you buy it; it'll now be in your collection. All right, so we're going to go into a local game. Uh, where we will not do a tutorial. I'll just do a new battle. Uh, we'll randomize heroes. Let's do, uh, what do you think? Well, let me click on this to show you. So you go here and you can pick heroes. A lot of people try to click this arrow over here. Don't click the arrow. Grab and scroll. Grab and scroll. So you can click on a character, read about it right there. It just gives her special ability. You can see that she has three sidekicks. These each have one. Or you can do a random hero. Let's say I choose Alice. And then AI, you can choose easy, medium, hard. Um, I 
think hard AI is just fine for a, for a person. You can also do a 2v2 battle, um, which will do the same thing. It'll You'll each take your turns as, as normal, but I'm just going to show you this one uh, just so that you can see it and make sure uh, that you understand it perfectly. So, again, don't click the arrow here. You can either confirm and randomize a map where you can scroll. We got Sarpedion and Marmoreal. So I'm just drag and scroll over. Um, so that's what we got so far. Just the two maps. This is just volume one. We're going to get Herat, um, which is the Beowulf and Little Red map soon. Let's just go here to Sarpedion. Sarpedion. Hopping into a game here. They have really good art that they took uh, from the cards and sometimes even made it animate like a sword waving or like uh, you can barely see it here. Alice, she's kind of moving a little bit just to give it a little more flair. Something I did notice is like the icons they have here and here are different. See, this is from Medusa's Gaze of Stone card. This is from Alice's. Um, big and small token and then I know that um, what is it? Uh, King Arthur has his that's a his card back so they just pick an icon that is identifiable it's not a big deal and uh, so let me just run you run you through they're gonna automatically give you these I'll get to place Jabberwock now that uh, Medusa has placed all her characters so I'm gonna put Jabberwock here I get to choose if I want to be big or small with Medusa and, and characters like that you'll get to choose. I like being big. Or wait, big. And then you hit the check here. That checks uh, when you're ready to go. Um, before she, I go ahead and show you her first turn, we'll run over some things here. Uh, down here in the bottom left, this is a backspace, so if I didn't like what I chose, I can go right back. Um, there are some things that you cannot go back from, right? So if, if something's already set in stone, you can't go back. So you can see she has a boost uh, move base value of three. That means all her figures can move three, just like in the regular game. This keeps track of the deck for you. She's got 25 in deck and 25 here, and that's important uh, to run out your... Um, if you're trying to play that way to win because you win two ways through damage or through that click here go to medusa it tells you all about her, her harpies they move each of her harpies move three in melee and i find that interesting instead of just saying three so it makes me think that there's characters that might come out in this in this uh, digital edition at least and probably in the regular releases that maybe they're different who knows um but yeah her health everything's there then we got her deck list. You can just quickly scroll and say, okay, what could she possibly do to me? And uh, that's helpful in a match. And then your discard pile. All her discard will go here, but they will not be... They'll be in order of what she discarded, not in order where they're going to organize like all three feints together and all three regroups or whatever. And then the hand. The hand will be visible when somebody looks at your hand. Uh, the cards that were seen will be able to be seen, just like as it should be in the, in the regular... Um, that's open knowledge and again you can click on your own stuff and check too if you forget about your own stuff uh, over here we got the menu and we can just obviously that's all obvious stuff start again replay main menu um, resume email so email uh, that's nice you can send like a little quick uh, message of feedback and again see the art he's breathing heavy and he's swinging his sword all right, so we got press check over here. Hourglass waiting for Medusa. You see at the top of the screen, it's waiting for Medusa. I can also zoom in while we wait for her, and I can zoom out. I can grab and drag around. You can also use WASD, those keys, or your arrow keys to move around, um, kind of like in TTS. Okay. Waiting for Medusa. So she took a maneuver and she's kind of hiding in purple, trying to get some uh, some free. Let's see what she does here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play this card. I'm, I'm not playing, thinking. I just wanna see what happens here. Yeah, she might kill me now. <laughs> no, she can't. She 
can do six at the most. But let's see if she does. So it'll, it'll run you through it, which I don't need that. I don't need to be run through. Okay, during combat, this one goes first. I don't really need that. I wish I could turn that off because once you start playing, once the, that's more tutorial stuff that they should have. So that is one gripe, I guess, um, that I have. It's a seven, so I'm taking six. So I have two health left. Off with their heads. You know, I don't have two health. I thought it was Jabberwock. Anyway, we'll just continue. Uh, what, I, what I'm going to do is maneuver. So you click on that character, it shows you. You can move one here, one here, two, 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 where it has a two, obvious. So I want to click her and click where I want to go. Then I want to click my Jabberwock and click here, where I want to go. Now, I'm going to do this as an example. I click on this card, it turns right around the border. Go over here, and um, in the bottom right, it'll boost it. So now I can move two... Um, him two extra, so I would have had to do it before I moved Alice, but I can go there and um, back to there because I want to show you an attack and how that would work. So I can either play this scheme and I'll show you that later, but right now we're going to do this attack and it it's the only one that's going to happen, otherwise I'd have to click on this character if there were multiple of which one to choose. So I press attack. Now Arthur, for him, because he boosts, he'll have to, you'll have to, um, Either press skip if you don't want to boost, or pull up another card that you want to boost. So you just grab and pull up. So I have it on quick animations. Probably should have slowed it down for this video, but you know, whatever. So it canceled my effect there. Obviously, I wouldn't have played that card because that's not a hero, but it still killed her. But just for sake of uh, this tutorial. Um, again. We're going to do a lot of stupid moves in here just to demonstrate stuff. So that's all I can do. I have no other options. Can't move. Can't can't do anything. So press check mark. And then Medusa, it's going to give the, that person the option to ping uh, Jabberwock. And she'll do that. While we wait for Medusa to do that. Yep, see? Seven health now. Okay, so we're just waiting for her turn. Um, do I defend with the Jabberwock? Let's see. No, we want to see what a, a death looks like, right? Yeah, she probably would kill the enemy. Just waiting. A little timer. Hourglass can be annoying sometimes. Okay, so Medusa 1, I have to press close. And I think a timer runs out. I haven't had it happen yet, but I think a timer runs out and then and that makes you go. So you don't have to like wait for an opponent that won't press the button or doesn't notice the button or whatever. Okay, she just didn't move. She's staying there, so that that's intimidating. We'll do. So she's intimidating. So we'll draw two cards, change size. Boom. And then, if you notice, with Alice, they added this little thing where she actually does change size. Her mini gets tiny. Thought about 3D printing a little bit, uh, a little mini. I think that'd be funny. So we'll go. Boom. Boom. We're also going to boost it with, uh, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think we boost? Let's boost it with this. Oh, no. Not that one. See? Then I go down here, bottom left, and go back. Okay, that's not the one I wanted. So we'll do this one. This four value. Uh, boosted. So I'm going to get right here. Oh, wait. I could get right here. And then stay out of her little pin. I guess I am thinking a little bit, but click on that. We're almost done here. I'm not gonna run through the whole game, obviously. So let me show you a couple more things. I want to show you an attack with Al using Alice. So she's gonna run away and block me. 
Well, I can, I'll just do it to this stupid harpy, and I'll, boot, I'll, I'll do a big ol' attack on her when I get big. Um, yeah, let's do a skirmish, because if I win, then she's going to make me discard, isn't she? Nope, but I can just move her out of the way. So, you can click on this top right corner thing that says View Battlefield. It's going to let me move... Otherwise, I gotta like work through here. So I go back to combat. It's gonna be difficult to click on this and then, you know, not be able to. So I click on battlefield, click on her, move her over there. Oh, she's out of my way. And that's the view battlefield thing that comes up. Uh, close. Off with their heads. Off with their heads, so you'll get animations like that too. So let's maneuver. Um, and attack with uh, this card. Oops, I boosted with it. See? Accident. But I think I can actually go back. Yep. So I'm done. I have to remember to hit the, the foot button. And I can do an attack like so. Boom. Boom. Again, examples. Uh, not be doing this in real life. Waiting for Medusa. Waiting for Medusa. But you get the gist of it. Um, after this quick interact, hopefully it's quick. After this interaction, we'll be done. Fainted it, so it's only a four or a, a two because I'm small. But anyway. That is it. Alice means the combat. That's, that's pretty much how it goes the whole way, and they're still working out bugs. Go back here. Go to main menu. Don't press exit because that'll take you all the way out of the game. But just go to the main menu here, and we're back. See? And that's it. Uh, I appreciate everyone that uh, is watching my channel. Tomorrow, I will be putting up a video on Houdini vs. Genie unboxing. So uh, be on the lookout for that on my channel. But that's it. See you later.